tomb buggy. All fired up. Only a supercharger Skylander can customize vehicles. Have you had a chance to see what we've got for sale? We get new deliveries and restock all the time, so make sure you check back often. Speaking of which, make sure you save any winged sapphires you come across. Those little babies get you discounts with me, Sharpfin's pit crew, and Miss Persephone's upgrades. Master Eon and the others are waiting for you. Good luck out there, Skylander. Getting stronger. We know from Spell Slamser that the books we seek are somewhere in the halls of the ancients. But the hall is vast, and time grows short. Therefore, anyone who can possibly be spared from maintaining the Academy will be going on this mission to assist in finding these books. Chaos and the darkness threaten all of us. This is the key to putting an end to their evil, for good. Oh, I wish I was as good at being as inspirational as that guy, but still, it's hard to get excited about going to a library. Right, Hugo? Never mind. Wow, this place is incredible. Look at all these books. I could stay in here forever. Stay focused, Hugo. We're here for one thing, to figure out how to stop the darkness. And be careful. This is no ordinary library. Come on, Callie. It's just a bunch of stupid, moldy books. It's the most boring quest ever. <laughs> You see? And that's why I don't read. The Coming of the Darkness by Pomfrey LaFuzzbottom. Great job, Flynn! This is exactly what we're looking for. It is? I mean, of course it is. You know, I gotta admit that first chapter really pulls you in. Skylanders of the tech element are stronger in this zone. I think I found a book about the darkness, but since this library is cursed, it might be best if you open it. There has got to be something within these pages that will give us a clue to stopping it. Have a look, Skylander, and be careful. Before creating the portals, the ancients explored the universe using magical relics called Rift Engines. But in their haste to spread the light of Skylands to other worlds, they created a powerful Rift Engine that opened a door to a forbidden world and unleashed a destructive force into Skylands, the Darkness. Centuries later, in the age of the Portal Masters, the Skylanders had become the greatest champions the world had ever known. Skylanders of the water element are stronger in this zone. No enemy or debris could stand before their might. But the darkness was still out there, somewhere laying in wait. Yeah. 
tremors and aftershocks rumbled throughout the land. Some great evil was being conjured in the arcane keep of the Spellpunks. The devious Spellpunks had unearthed the very same cursed relic that had allowed the darkness into Skylands centuries ago. The Dark Rift Engine. Spellpunks had to be stopped before they could use its power to awaken the darkness. But the way to the citadel had grown treacherous. Danger sprang from the shadows. to the darkness. began to quake, and a wave of fear swept over the land as a great and terrible shadow erupted from the keep. It bellowed in a deep and malevolent voice, Behold, Skylands, I have returned. All shall fear and obey me. I am the darkness. I've always heard that it was the Ancients who let the darkness into Skylands, but I've never heard about that Dark Rift engine. Still, we don't know how they managed to finally defeat it. We'll have to keep looking, Skylander. Maybe one of the others found something useful. Sky Slicer. Hawk and Or. Hey, Skylander, look at this. You should try this one. The charge of the First Light Squadron. It's about an elite squad of fighter pilots who took on the overwhelming forces of evil. Looks pretty turbulent in there. Best if you summon a sky vehicle if you want to take a look. As the power of the darkness grew, the marauding forces that served it took control of the skies and terrorized the land. All hope seemed lost until a ragtag group of pilots was assembled with a single impossible goal, to hold back the encroaching evil and give the good people of Skylands a chance to escape to safety. This first light squadron took to the skies in defiance of all odds to meet this threat head on. 
The darkness, underestimating our heroes, sent out a small group of fighters to crush them. Pointed. Darkness, enraged at the squadron's continued success, brought more of its armada into the battle. But the first light squadron was undeterred. These enemies, too, would fall before the righteous might of these brave pilots. The Dark Forces were relentless in their attack. was determined to destroy the Dark Galleon and cripple the Armada once and for all. dispatched these foes with authority and continued their quest. Ability. But the darkness was cunning and called forth the Dark Galleon to vanquish the squadron's hopes. Thus began the final charge of the First Light Squadron. Perfect. fell that day to a ragtag group of heroic pilots who refused to accept that their quest was impossible. 
Their courage would inspire all to rise up against the power of the darkness. Now that was some serious flying. You see that, Skylander? The darkness isn't all powerful. It can be beaten. You should check with Flint. He might have found something useful. Hey, it's possible. I've never seen so many books in one place. Hey Skylander, you gotta see this book. Looks like this one here talks about how the core of light got made to give the darkness the old beatdown. There's probably more inside, but I'm not really in a hurry to crack it open, if you know what I mean, because it's kind of cursed, but you go right ahead. The War of the Darkness had nearly been lost as all of Skylands was being held in its terrible grip. But there was one chance. A mythical device built by the ancients to combat the darkness had been discovered. It was called the Core of Light. But finding its location would be the most dangerous mission of them all. Darkness knew the core of light would be its end, and so it attacked. Its dark power was beyond comprehension. It shattered mountains and bridges with casual disdain. Darkness's rage was earth-shaking and all-consuming, for it knew that in order for its power to grow, the core of light must stay hidden. Undaunted, even in the face of this great evil, the Skylanders continued the quest. servants to do its terrible bidding. That they would fall before the Skylander like limp bundles of experience and treasure. The darkness grew desperate. Again and again it attacked with renewed fury. journey, the lost citadel of the Portal Masters had been reached. The radiant purity of the core of light had been found at last. But in the distance, the darkness raged on. 
Bowsers, looks like the darkness almost conquered Skylands back in the olden days until they used the trusty core of light. But it stopped right before the good part. I totally can't wait to find out what happens next. Maybe the one Mags found will have more info. Don't keep me in suspense! Splatter Splasher. Supercharged. monster. I've heard of that. Well, it turns out it used to be like a pet of some dark portal masters. Can you imagine that? <laughs> it's like trying to housebreak a rabid honey badger. Not a good idea. Hmm. Looks like you'll need a sea vehicle to read this one. Servants of the darkness were known for keeping a lethal menagerie of creatures and beasts. None was more terrifying than the multi-headed monstrosity known as the Hydra. The Hydra's appetite for both food and destruction was without limit. Dark portal masters, in an effort to appease their favorite pets, gathered all the food in Skylands and dropped it in the sea. The people, hungry and deprived of all sustenance, called on their heroes, the Skylanders, for aid. The Skylander, heedless of danger, dove into the shadowed and endless depths of the sea to face the Hydra. But the lair of this Hydra was fraught with peril, danger, and exploding proximity mines. Hydra was not the only dangerous creature in this deep sea. Ravenous Hydra hatchlings hid, coiled in the rocks, and would strike without warning. Fracture fish of foul falls swam these waters briefly. Deeper into the abyss, the Skylander traveled. Finally, the Skylander descended into the lair of the Hydra. There was the pilfered food. Without hesitation, the Skylander snatched up the food. The sea crumbled and quaked as the Hydra woke. The heads of the Hydra lashed out in rage. The Skylander was cornered. Until a secret passage out of the lair was revealed. The Skylander sped away. This food was too important to risk. 
faster and faster the Skylanders swam. The Hydra's speed was incredible. It churned the water into a swirling foam, gaining and gaining on the Skylander. But just up ahead, that geyser, could it? It could! The various and many jaws of the Hydra snapped at the jets of water in frustration. It had been robbed of its prize and vengeance. The Skylander returned the stolen food to the people of Skylands, thwarting this creature of darkness. Gosh and golly, that was some story, Skylander! Makes you feel like we're kind of making history ourselves right now. Wouldn't that be something if we all ended up in a book someplace, too? I bet the next book is gonna be even more exciting than this one! I think Hugo's finally managed to decide on one. You should go find him before he changes his mind! Tomb Buggy. Supercharged. Oh, hi Skylander. I'm glad you're here. This book here is called To Light the Dark by Pomfrey LaFuzzbottom. I didn't read much, but it talks about using the core of light to fight the darkness. This could be the one! The forces of good had discovered the hidden location of the core of light, but they soon realized that the ancients had never completed this great machine, a secret that to this day has been forgotten. But with the darkness closing in for the final blow, they had no choice. They would power up the core and risk everything in a final battle. And they would hope that even an incomplete core of light would be enough to keep the darkness at bay. The Skylander sped into action. There was only one chance. An all-out attack to drive the darkness toward the core itself. But the darkness would not go easily. The darkness laid snares and traps for the Skylander. The Skylander, however, would not be halted. Until it was in range of the core. And then 
Its glorious light filled the sky. With the core of light holding it at bay, it was forced to flee and hide in the deepest, darkest parts of Skylands once again. But for how long? One day it will return for its revenge. In order to destroy the darkness once and for all, the secret to completing the core of light and unleashing its true power must be found. This will be my life's work. <laughs> What'd you call me? Callie is right. You must seek out the author of that book. If any living being knows how to complete the core, it is Pomfrey La Fuzzbottom. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find this Pop Pop Fuzzy Bottom guy and turn this core of light into the most awesome weapon ever! That's Tessa! She shouldn't be trying to fly in these skies, it's too dangerous! Hopefully the bird broke her fall. That looked like a pretty hard landing. You'd better go check on Tessa, Skylander. I need to examine the book we got from the Spellpunk Library for leads on Pomfrey's whereabouts. 